Alright everybody, welcome back to Let's Stream Chrono Trigger. Uh, today I want to continue from where we left off. So our goal, I think our next goal was to head to the Middle Ages, or uh, 600 AD, this is the Middle Ages too I guess. Uh, head to the Middle Ages, or 600 AD, and uh, go and find, go and fight Magus, because Magus, we determined, was the source of... Da -na -da -na. This is the source of Mavos. Apparently, he summoned Lavos in 600 AD, and that's when we're going to go back to, to, uh, you know, rescue, or to face him, basically, to try and save the world. So, here we go. Layout switch? Yeah. I have different different setups for, uh... Oh, look, I have two more things here. Where does this go? Truce Canyon, 600 AD. Might be where we want to go. Lean Square. And this is, like, the other village, right? Okay, so Truce Canyon, 600 AD, I think, is where we actually want to go. Yeah, we don't have anything else to do here. You guys. <laughs> it's so illegal. It's not illegal. We're all of age here. Alright. So, where should we search to find Magus? Oh. Another battle trigger here. There was a trigger here the last time we were here. Alright. Imp aces. Oh, the music is so good. I had this song stuck in my head all day at work. I'm trying to hold the controller better today. I was holding it in like too much of a clutch formation last time. Dun, 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 dun. So let's see, where have we been in the past? Well, there was that cathedral over there that we visited, that we cleared out. Oh, uh, and we've heard about the bridge, yeah, Xenon Bridge down here. This is where they're holding the line against Magus. This is probably where we need to be. Our rations have run out! Have the supplies from Guardia Castle arrived yet? Our only hope is the hero. What? Forming a protective ring around the hero, the best knights of the kingdom kicked off the offensive. What hero? I never believed those stories about the hero and his legendary medal. Our food supplies have run out. Hmm. No one wants to talk to me. Apparently there's food at the castle. Maybe we can go get it for him. Help out the war effort. I don't think we are the hero, no. <laughs> no enemy encounters in Guardian Forest. That's interesting. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you again. Yeah, you know me. Where's the... Hey, douche. Sir Chrono! The legendary hero has finally appeared. He just arrived a moment ago to meet the king. What? Where is this... Look how tall these thrones are, dude. I just realized. That's crazy. Man. I think the DS remake has a couple differences. Most notably having the PlayStation cutscenes added in. 100 gold! I think we're supposed to have found that the last time we were here. Oh... Who are we if not the hero? Good question. Oh, what is, who's in bed back here? Is it the king sick? Cyrus must have sent the boy to us. Hmm? At this rate, Queen Lim will also succumb. Uh oh, is he feeling sick? Can I... Hey, buddy. I can't talk to him. Oh, I can get up here. Nice. Hello. Oh, Chrono, I've let down my kingdom. Since we cannot locate Cyrus, our sole hope rests on the boy who has the hero medal. He searches the southern continent for the sword that can defeat Magus. Hmm. Alright, so we need to find this boy with a hero medal and apparently a sword. Hmm. 
Can we cross the bridge down there? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we need to, uh... Check around a little more. I think I know where the knight's quarters were. Maybe they have the food down there. Oh, let's heal. Why not? All the beds are all taken. Oh, wow, we're at war. The king's trying his best, so snap out of it. Are these guys dead? Magus has already defeated three fierce warriors. There's a food shortage on the front lines. So now they're just laying on the floor. Heard something about a hero showing up. Hmm. Where are we supposed to bring food from? We went and talked to the kid, a king. Ah. The king is injured. I'm confused. This is where my knowledge of the game gets a little fuzzy. I don't know who the hero is. It's apparently some boy with a medal. And he's looking for a special sword. Possibly Excalibur. And there's also a food shortage on the front lines. We can't just walk across the bridge. Hmm. Let's talk to these people again. Have the supplies from Guardia Castle arrived yet? Our only hope is the hero. Hello. It appears our knights and Magus' troops and locked their battle in the center of the bridge. Yes, but you won't let me go and see the, the battle, will you? <laughs> yeah, it's like, was that the Chancellor that imprisoned us? No, that was the Chancellor that was kidnapped by a Yakra. Hmm. Alright, we clearly need to go get food from somewhere. The asshole chancellor that put us on trial was in 1000 AD. So where would the food supplies be? I think the only place I didn't go in the castle was to the right in here. Oh, here we go, there's some food on the table. <laughs> Perfect. Can I just snag that? No. Hello? We gotta nurse the king back to good health. Yes. Is this food good enough for the king? Sure it is. Chef, hurry with the food that goes to the Xenon Bridge! My brother, he's... That's what you get for thinking you're the only ones fighting for your country. Stop bickering! Grow up! Hmm. Pipe down, what do you know? So clearly they're, like, hurrying to make food right now. As it turns out. Men are such fools. The chef always worries about the night captain. Oh, wow. So the night, the night captain's brother is the chef. You see why the night captain is so upset about there not being any food. Wait! Oh, I must have triggered something. Take this with you. <laughs> One piece of jerky? Ooh, power tab, thanks. And tell that fool, he better come back alive. Oh, he's worried about his brother on the front lines. I wonder which one is the older brother. I bet it's the chef. He's worried about his cocky younger brother going into battle. Yeah, we could try and travel to the future and get the future food, but we just gave them the seeds. So we would need to go, like, even further into the future. Uh-oh. I brought you jerky. Food rations! The cook! He has saved us all! <laughs> by feeding an entire army with one piece of beef jerky. Okay. If those guys dead on the ground spring up, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Chrono, if I do not make it back, give my brother my thanks. What is going on here? Magus' troops have launched an attack. They're breaking through our defenses. Stop snoozling at shames the knights of the square table. Oh boy. We shall destroy Magus' troops and bring honor to our king. We are far outnumbered. Not anymore, you aren't. 
<laughs> you shall not pass! Hoorah! Oh, goodness, these guys are getting killed. Oh, they're disappearing! No! I'm Ozzy, Magus' top general. Those who dare to fight Magus have to answer to me. Yes, my children, give him a taste of doom! <laughs> Welcome to die! Oh, wow, those guys can fly across the battlefield, can't they? Fire punch! Oh, he's immune to fire. Apparently. Hmm, okay. Oh, you want some lightning, huh? I got some lightning for you over here. Hmm, how about... Damn, is he immune to all elemental damage? Ozzy's spell is broken. What? Well, maybe... I'm confused. I cast lightning on him and the other two guys died. Not sure how that worked. Those ones are stronger than I thought. Yeah. We're not so wimpy, eh? Oh man, more dead guys. They don't want to talk to me. We've got him. It seems I misjudged you, but I won't do that twice. Uh-oh. Oh, damn! He's summoning our own people back! That's just fucked up, man. Talk about, like, mental warfare. Critical hit! Ah... Uh. Oh, fire seems to do good damage to these guys. I'm gonna rocket roll everybody on the screen. Oh, it healed them! What?! Is it shadow type and it heals undead? That sucks! Oh boy. Uh, try and put him to sleep, Luca. We need to buy ourselves some time here. Did I get any of them? Maybe the undead are immune to sleep. Who knows? Whoops, I healed the wrong person. Oh well. Luca can use it too. You know, what? I'm just gonna cast lightning on Ozzy again. See what that does. Worked last time. Yeah! What? If you cast lightning on him, everybody just automatically dies. Okay, that's good to know. I remember that Ozzy's weak to lightning. Oh wait, hang on. Oops, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted! I'm still getting used to the button configs here. The other two are fine. That's it! No, you're finished! You cannot win! You had best surrender! Sleep only works on living things. It makes sense. It's, we have failed to use sleep on robots and undead, so... Oh boy. Boss fight! Go, Zombor! Crush Sir Magus' enemies! Hut, Sir Magus! Hut, Sir Magus! Alright, um... Lightning it is! Let's fire punch him. So apparently I can attack his face or his legs. I'm just gonna go for the legs, I guess? I, I don't know. Maybe I should attack his face, like that might be the weak point. I healed the head. Oh, I'm a little confused. Let me just try and slash him in the face. Did damage, okay. Nothing too crazy there. Oh, okay, lightning heals the head. That's... This is complicated. Okay, 
Okay, fire seems to... any elemental attack seems to heal the head. Strangeness going on. I'm just gonna stick the physical attacks and hit him in the in the balls, basically. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, that's bad. Oh boy. Robo's gonna be on healing duty now. Doing damage to the lower portion. Oh, he's gonna kill Robo and Luca. Shit. <laughs> Chrono! Oh, his legs are gone. It's just you and me now, punk. Oh, I did a lot. Holy crap. I need my turn, please. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. This might kill me. If I was faster on the button inputs, I might have had time to heal before he did that. Dang. Hmm. Legs weak to magic, head weak to physical? Maybe. Sleep only works on living things. Hmm. Alright, well. We have to load our last save. <laughs> when the heck was that? <laughs> the beginning of the recording. <laughs> Even... Alright, we know what to do now, so it won't take long. Gotta go back to the past. <laughs> instead of back to the future. Lol. Dun, 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 dun. Interesting. We come back to the past, and the first thing we're presented with really is a boss fight. Apparently there's like a frame-perfect skip you can do on this fight here, but I can't be arsed to try and avoid something that small. These guys both go down in one cyclone. Gonna heal on the on the not heal. Whoops. Dang it. Go a little closer. Awesome. Laser spin. I gotta try the laser spin at some point here. It's not gonna be useful on the bridge though, because it shadow attacks apparently heal undead. Alright, we gotta go get the jerky. Halt! Who goes there? Hut, Sir Magus. I love the way Robo runs and throwing his arms out in front of him with that like, punching motion that he does. It's just so funny. Hey, come on now. Talk to everybody. I'm not getting the dialogue I got last time. Oh, wait, there's a chest right here. Nice. Didn't see that last time. Hot Sermagus. Yeah, I have to go and visit the king. I didn't realize I could walk right over this ledge. <laughs> Do 
Do I have to go and talk to the people at the bridge to find out that the food supplies are like expected before I'll get the right dialogue here? That's possible. Yep, looks like I'm getting all the same dialogue options. Yeah, okay. Well, we didn't so much forget to save as I, I didn't realize that I needed to save right there. I think we gotta go talk to the guys at the bridge to find out that they need that they need the food and then the food will uh, be available for us to pick up, hopefully. I do like that I can run right through this forest without getting any encounters. It seems like if you hug the walls, you're less likely to hit them. Hmm. Considering the way the, f the fire damage healed the head, I gotta wonder if I should bring Marl into this fight and try, like, ice or something. I think it's just a magic absorbing head. So we need to use single targeting spells rather than like the whirls and this stuff. So what we have to do is just attack the legs. Actually no, his attack seems to come from his head when he does that doom thing. So maybe we should just go for physical attacks on the head and try and take it out first. Because I can still do like like cyclone or not, I can do slash and hit just the head, and I can do like rocket punch and just like attack with Luca. So we'll give it a shot. Food's here. going on here? Time to fight. I guess his troops have launched an attack. Dun. Give me a second, I'm being sweet to my girlfriend. I got a new phone. Look at this. It's a Samsung uh, Galaxy S3. It's not the latest version of the phone, but it's still like miles away better than the phone I used to have. So basically, I'm like a two-year-old early adopter. <laughs> I've always been like a generation behind in my technologies because I don't, I'm not, I'm like the opposite of an early adopter. I like to wait and see if a technology does well before I buy it. I'm like, I've never played a launch title like right when it came out. I feel like the only console I've ever had that I bought right when it came out was a Christmas gift of my GameCube. Everything other than that, I've had like two to three years late. I bought my Wii in 2013. <laughs> it came out like way before that. Like the Wii U had already come out by the time I bought a Wii. And I still don't have a Wii U, I don't have a PS4, and I don't have an Xbox One, and I don't intend to buy any of them. Dang it, I got my tech in there pretty quick. I might turn the battle speed down actually to, to give me more time to input things. What? Whoa, what? Hello, huh? Why didn't he... I hit him I hit him with lightning and it didn't dispel his spell like it normally did. 
Okay, I'm confused why that worked last time and now it's not working. Laser spin! Oh crap, that's gonna heal them, isn't it? I feel so dumb when I, I do stuff sometimes. <laughs> Stupidness. Ozzy's spell is broken. Maybe you just have to hit him with magic, like, a few times. Because that did no damage to him. None of those did it, like, registered as doing damage to him. And yet that did it. So I'm just going to hit him with three different magic attacks <laughs> as, soon as, I'm as soon as they're available and see if that does it. I'm enjoying, like, learning this game as we go. Hmm, I should use that power tab on Chrono. I'm gonna heal up completely before the boss fight this time. I like how long that animation is, it gives me time to put in other people's attacks. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like three magic hits of any variety will knock Ozzy out and just dispel everyone else. Alright, here goes nothing. I think the graphics on this game are just, like, just good enough, basically. Like, if they were any simpler, it would take away from the game. And any more complicated wouldn't add anything. It's like perfect, really. There's no enemy where you look at it and you're like, what is that? The graphics aren't good enough for me to like tell what's going on. And there's also no area where you get like totally distracted by it and it like takes away from it. Okay, so hit the head with physical attacks. That was the plan, right? Here goes. No, 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 no. Uh, slash the head. Uh, rocket punch the head. I healed it. What? Okay, slash seems to be a bad way to go here. I'm just gonna have her flame toss the body. Alright, we're just gonna keep throwing physical reg regular attacks at the at the uh, at the head. Critical hit, nice. <laughs> oh, he like scoots on his wheels. That's hilarious. He slides around like R two D, like R two D two, man. Oh my god, what? Oh, health absorbing. That stinks. I'm gonna have Robo heal Chrono on the next turn Robo gets. Doom, 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 doom. Great. Ro Chrono's dead. Oh, he has two health! Holy crap, he lived with two health! Empty Buster. Oh! Does that mean he just went down? Yes, it does. Okay. Alright. Alright, now we do magic on the bottom half. Um, what am I. What, whose menu am I in? Goodness gracious. Jesus. I'm out, oh, Chrono's out of MP. That's why he's not getting. The, I can't use any of his techs. Uh, just rocket. No, he has. It absorbs physical attacks. Whoops. I gotta stay focused here. I might just put Robo on healing duty. That was dumb. No, that actually did damage. What? Oh, I'm so confused right now. Uh, Cure Beam, Chrono, Item, Tonic, Yourself. Try and survive this next hit. Uh... Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh boy. 
he just walked up and did 143 damage to Luca, and I just healed him. God damn it! Oh man. Robo's officially on healing duty now. The pelvis does look like it has a face, doesn't it? That's kind of interesting. It's made up of multiple skeletons, so it kind of makes sense for it to be able to do that. We're running low on MP here, guys. I'm trying to finish this fight without having to revive Luca, but... Holy crap, he just walked up and killed him! Dude! That's not okay! He can't just walk up and one-shot people! That's ludicrous! Oh, this is bad, guys. I'm trying to solo with Robo. Got it in before the Doom, at least. Dude, if he walks over here and one-shots me, I'm gonna be fucking pissed, dude. I'm out of MP. Get out of my face, bro. Fuck off. He's just standing here. What is he doing? I think I buggered his AI somehow. I don't know what I did, but... Maybe he's trying to one-shot Robo, but the game won't let him. Oh, critical hit. Robo! Solo finish with Robo! I think he was trying to one-shot Robo, and the game wouldn't let him because Robo was my only person left? That's my only guess, man. And everyone else is just fine again. That was interesting. How much health did they come back with? Yeah, like none. Okay. That should be it, right? That was the boss. So we win now? Oh, we just got to cross the bridge. That was our benefit from that. Okay. We'll just save. And use a shelter to heal ourselves all the way back up. Cool. Actually, you know what? We're gonna save again now. Alright! We got him. <laughs> Solo Robo! Look at him go. So there's another village down here. Residence, market. What can I buy at the market, I wonder? Hello, sir. With your merchant hat. It's good to have, have this kind of stuff. Have I picked up anything lately that I should use? Let's see. Siglemic, no. Siglemic doesn't even play this game. At least he doesn't. He doesn't ever stream this. Okay. Um. Here's what I want. I want to change the battle speed to be a little slower because I had it just faster than average. So now I have it just slower than average. We'll see if that works well for me. Power tab on Chrono. Power him up. Defender do for him. Just a little, a little more stamina. Honestly, I don't know which is better for Robo, speed or, or defense. The sight scope didn't seem to be working in that fight. Maybe I just kind of was missing it. I had a couple things I could sell here, I guess. Nobody else can use the load sword other than uh, Chrono, so it's valuable too. So. Iron suit, it's a downgrade for everybody, except Marl. Yeah. So that's that. Alright. 
What's this? Elder's house. Elders tend to be knowledge knowledgeful. What? You want what? I skipped the text accidentally. I'm like the mythical explorer. I'll be waiting for good news. With that said, I'll grab a bite before I go. Magus's lair is on an island to the east. Hmm. He has three fearsome henson. Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. They're tone-deaf evil fiends. Tone-deaf? I'm sorry, what? Chief, we can use the rainbow shell to make some reflective armor. It'll be strong against magic. But that guy's a little flaky. Was it a mistake to trust him? Hmm. Only the ancient sword, Masamune, can defeat him. And only the hero can wield it. Hmm. <laughs> the Dorito Inn? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Dorino, okay. <laughs> I was like, the Dorito Inn! Look at that! <laughs> Clear your conscience, the end of the world is coming. Oh my. You looking for the hero? Go south to the village of Pore. Oh, okay, thanks. It's kind of warm in here, man. I got my heat on, I guess. What is this? Fiona's Villa. Hmm. Here we go. Elder's House. Tata's House. Cafe. Market. Pore Inn. We'll ask at the inn. Uh, that's okay. Thanks. Pretty good rumors lately? Exactly. That's why you go to the inn. When in doubt, ask around at the cafe. Hello, ma'am. Excuse me. Ma'am? Okay. The legendary hero is a boy from this village. Did you hear the latest? No. The legendary hero is from this village, then. Oh. A strange monster came by the other day, mumbling about Queen Lean and the Masamune. Masamune. That sure were an ugly frog, horror horror. Oh, gosh. Frog's been through here. Maybe he's looking for the sword, too. Tata's house. Hello? My son's legendary hero! It must have been all that oatmeal! <laughs> Best Quaker ad ever. Where is he? Oh, it's, this is an old man. You're not the son. My grandson's a brave hero! That's from my side of the family. <laughs> so where the hell is he? You didn't send him off to battle, did you? Hmm. Well, he's not here. Apparently his name is Tata, though. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Check at the Elder's house. Is Tata here? Are you Tata? Next to the bed is a treasure box. Open it and the contents are yours. Oh. Oh, these. Yeah, I don't know how to open these. There's two of them, too. The Magic Cave lies under a mountain east of Dinadoro. Dude, the hero's not going to be sitting around eating oatmeal. He totally could be, though. Does this market have anything different than the other market? Something on the ground over there. Ooh, gold suits! That apparently are better for ev than, than what I have for everyone. And then a beret that's better for Luca. It's good to save your money. You can have plenty left over when you need it. What is this? Power tab! Awesome. Chrono! Cool. Um, let's re-equip some stuff. Gold suit. We now have an extra one, so I'll put it on Marl. Titan vest. Cool. So we don't have... Oh, we have something better for Luca. that's what it was. A beret. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently the beret is better than an iron helm. Don't know how that works. I guess I could sell the stuff I don't need anymore, then. It's like this iron suit. That's old. Iron helm is a downgrade. Okay. So where's the hero? 
Oh, what's this? The Cursed Woods. Would the hero be in here? Got one mid-tonic. Get that off the screen, please. There's frogs everywhere. Look at this place. Got one shelter. Oh, got into a fight. Oh, there's a new up there. This is a new one, too. Uh, I think news you're supposed to use magic on. Ah, laser spin. Wow, Luca just went down to one health. I didn't even see what happened. What the hell just went down? Something hit her really hard. <laughs> now all these frogs are getting their turn. Really though, what the hell was that? Heal her up. <laughs> Goodness gracious. There's a tough snake down there. This new is taking a lot of damage too, man. Oh, he's the one wielding the knock-you-down-to-one-HP attack. Crap. Take out that snake so it doesn't kill Robo. Fire punch that new... Goodness gracious, he has a lot of health. Uh... It's got 300 more health in there. Holy crap. I'm pretty sure that those tip holes are not uh, related to frog, no. Oh. Zero damage, okay. Yeah, I remember now. I read about news. They have two attacks. One attack that does one damage, and one attack that lowers you to one HP. And they randomly use one or the other. So sometimes they'll attack you and just take one hit, one damage, one damage, one damage. Other times they'll hit you and they'll go straight down only having one health point left. So like the worst thing they can do is use the attack where they knock you down to one health point, and then use the attack where they do one damage. Okay, I should probably heal. Why are these golden? Oh, pardon me, frogs. Why did I come in here? Oh, there's a hidden thing here. What? Dude, nice. Got a magic scarf? What does that do? My phone's dinging at me. I gotta uninstall Hangouts. That's f annoying, so. <laughs> BC just texted me. My hype! My hype! <laughs> I'm still getting used to using this swipeo thing on this phone. I was used to having a hard keyboard I actually used. Alright, what's this magic scarf? Oh, it increases your magical power. I guess I'll give that to Luca. So... Who's there? Fog! What were you doing on the ceiling? Tis thee, Chrono! 
Thou art here to practice thy skill in swordplay? Ribbit. <laughs> Look at the throat. Oh, I love that. Hey, buddy, how's it going? What? The king has been injured. I see. Tis nary a thing I can't do. Please be on thy way. Oh, frog. Dude, don't give up, man. You can... I'm sure there's something you can do to help. The hero? I am not. I can do not. Frog. Dude, no, you gotta step up, bro. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Well, Frog's obviously working through some things. Maybe these are Frog's friends out here. Hey, stop, don't stand in front of that chest. Let me check that. Uh, yeah, he seems really down on himself. Bummer. Avoid that new fight. Get out of here. Whew, that was tough. Ugh, well dang. Frog doesn't want to help us. Now he's down on something. Let's go to Tata's house and see if he's here now. <gasps> it's the hero's bed! This game is literally 100% hype. No. There's no really any hype for Chrono Trigger, it's just sort of a relaxing game to play. Unless you're getting your shit beaten out of you by a boss. <laughs> That's probably the only time where it's like, Oh fuck, I gotta put his inputs in really fast so I don't die! <laughs> heal him, Robo, heal him! Ah. This old man standing in the corner for? You taking a piss back there? You heard about the magical cave, the one east of the Dendodoro Mountains? I saw a rock wall there pop open and the gaggle ghouls walked right in. Hmm. East of the Denodoros. If only I knew where any anything was in this game. I can only guess it's over here. What is this? Magic Cave, yeah. Hello. Oh, I've seen this. There's like a cutscene where you, like, Moses this shit. I don't think I can do it. I need to have... I need to have some more plot first. I haven't had enough plot to this is the only place we haven't gone. Hello. My husband Marco hasn't returned from the war, but these woods mean a lot to us, so I'll guard them until he returns. I'm stealing your shit. Empty! No, no, the top one. Two mid ethers, thank you very much. Magic Cave, also known as the Nethers. <laughs> no. You guys. Alright, does anybody know where I'm supposed to, uh, go? Could use a little guidance here. We found Frog, but he doesn't want to do anything. We've talked to people about a hero, but we can't seem to find him. We can't open the magic cave yet. Residence. Oh, hello. It's locked! No, I saw a twinkle. Does somebody have a key for this? Where could Sir Cyrus be? Surely he hasn't deserted the kingdom. I heard Magus knows arcane magic, but the monsters can't match. Is it true that the king was injured? What's going to happen to us and the country? Hey, is that the Naga et Bromide you've got there? Yes, the thing I picked up in the first dungeon that I didn't know what, what it was for. I do have that still. Oh, let's trade. I don't want the geezer's loot. No, respect your elders. This is Japanese RPG. Let's trade. You mean it? Just hold your horses and I'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, look, he's going in there. I unlocked it, so you're free to take it. I'll be taking this. You found one magic tab! Oh. Is that all it's for? Don't tell Granny. Hey, hey, my very own Naga at pet. Oh my god, is he gonna grow one of those snakes? <laughs> Dude, that's a bad idea. I'm so bored. Mom said I can't play outside because of the monsters. Damn. And we got a magic tab, I guess, for picking up that bromide. <laughs> Whatever. I wonder if I should give my magic tabs. I don't. I don't see myself using Marl a whole lot, to be honest. With that multi, that multi-person healing, the dual tech that she has with Chrono, that sure would be useful to have in boss fights, man. But like, what is Luca doing for us? Like flame roll, 
Fire Punch, both like powerful dual techs. So I guess I'm gonna keep giving the magic tabs to Luca. Alright, so we gave the old man Mentats. <laughs> or whatever. Has anybody looked outside? Or looked outside? Has anybody looked up where to go next? I just need to be told, like, in general terms, of, like, what to, what to head towards next, because I've talked to everybody, I think. I'm not sure what I'm missing. Do I need to go back and talk to the king again, now that I've cleared the bridge? Hmm. Hmm. My house hasn't even been built yet. It'll be over here. I just looked outside, didn't see shit. <laughs> you guys. I didn't see a legendary hero up here meeting the king when we were here earlier. Cyrus must have sent the boy to us. What boy? So the boy is searching the southern continent for the sword that can defeat Magus. Okay. So we're searching the southern continent for the boy who's searching for the sword that can defeat Magus. So I guess our goal is still to find that boy. But nobody seems to be wanting to tell us where he went. His father and grandfather are just proud to be related to him. <laughs> it's funny. Must have been all that oatmeal. <laughs> Can't believe that. That's freaking hilarious, man. Okay, so... We've gone to the magic cave. Can't see... Can't see much of anything there. Let's go and try and talk to Frog again. I do think Frog is supposed to be involved in this part of the game. Let's see if I can't skip these fights again. Hut, Sir Magus. A hero I am not. Frog, get over yourself. A little flaming animation here. It's got more... It's got more... It's got more, uh frames in it than the Minecraft flames do. Come on, frog! Snap out of it! It's hard to use a walkthrough when you don't know what point Poncho's at. We're on the second visit to 600 AD. Dang it. Um, oh, he's sucking help from his friends. Look at that. Dude, that, that is fucking a, uh, that toad up there is totally... Uh... That toad up there is totally a, uh... Oh, what's it called, man? We're casting the water spells on us, but making it rain. It looks just like the, the, the Pokemon with the Drizzle ability. What's the name of that one? Politoed. It's like a Politoed with Drizzle. That's what it makes me think of. Ugh. Dang it! Snake caught me. Politoed was what I was thinking of. <laughs> Does it look like a like a red Politoed casting 
like using the drizzle ability, just like making it rain on Chrono. That's what I see. Critical hit! Keep talking to talk. Keep talking to Frog until he says he isn't the hero. I did that. Now go to the pot on. The pot on what? droids you're looking for. I feel like the only scroll you finished scroll you, you finished talking like halfway through a sentence and I'm confused now. Go to the pot. I talked to the pot. Examine it to get another magic scarf. Another magic scarf? I must have missed one. <laughs> then head out I got to the world map. Okay. That's how I've done this. Whoops. Dang it. I've really got to get used to these controls, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to fight that new thing again. Yeah. Stay away from me. Oh, that was close. Okay, back at the world map. <laughs> this is, chapter is called A Hero Appears. I've had, I've had a hell of a time trying to get a hero to appear, that's for sure. Go to the Denodoro Mountains! Is that these mountains? I think it's these mountains over here. He needs to see Tata at the mountains. Okay, this is a mountain range here. But it's just nothing I can do, I don't think. Is there more mountains I need to talk to? Is it these mountains? Oh, here we go, there's more mountains. Fair enough. I got it now. Thanks, guys. Let's fight these dudes, I want to see what they are. Hello. Fight me! You guys want to fight? Everybody's sleeping. Alright. Where's the kid? Ah! That must be him! <laughs> goblin. We have very friendly music while we're fighting this goblin. EK, he's weak. <laughs> this is a terrible place! You best run away while you can! Ogon? Oh, he's gonna hit me with a hammer! Oh, 32. Not too bad. I just, I, I mean, I should just keep that sight. Whoa. 
Maybe I should keep that sight scoped equipped on Luca so I can see how much health enemies have. To know, like, is doing 16 or 7 damage, like, enough, or does this guy have, like, a thousand health? Fire. Oh, thank you. I worked my way around to it. Where'd that kid go? I saw a chest down there. <laughs> Fire is best in this area. Alright, cool. And then we got Luca with us. Got one ether. It's up here. Dead end? No. More. This looks like a fight. Yep. Flame roll it is. Here it comes. Poink. The little goblins don't seem to be much of a threat. I'm waiting for Luca's turn. Oh, I burned his hammer. I see. There's a little something. Holy crap, that was a big crit there. Found 500 gold! Nice. Oh, you got me. Once their hammer is gone, they seem to be substantially weaker. I like that. Oh, you got me. I'm getting caught by these enemies. Freelancer, that's funny. Oh, you think you're tough? So I spoke was really cool, then they were to cooperate. How did they make it easier to cooperate? What did they do? I enjoyed the first and second gen, and that was, a, that was about when I stopped watching. Oh, Chrono, nicely done. cool. I think that's better than what I have on one of my characters, at least. Oops. No, Robo could benefit from that. So could Chrono. We'll put it on Chrono. Mid Ether. No, <laughs> trigger battle from <laughs> battles trigger from over there. I want to make Chrono just wait until it's Luca's turn, actually, because we're gonna do more damage after attacking after that that thing is gone. That hammer's out of there. Yeah, see that worked out. Okay. 
<laughs> Don't eat through a thing at that guy. At least he gets Chronos to do. Now we're waiting for Luca's turn to come up. I really need to get her faster. She needs to, she needs to increase her speed so that we can. Uh, her and Robo too need to be faster for them to be more useful. Robo learns Robo tackle. I think that's the move that we saw the other R, R series using against him. Kind of full body tackle move. How often do you have Creole? Almost never. You're throwing shit at me. That's straight up rude, yo. These guys are like birds with swords. So many unique enemies in this game. Critical hit! Yeah, speed tats would be good for everybody. Six hundred gold. There's a lot of gold just lying around in chests in this area. Hello. Oh. They both have hammers? Nope. Okay. Um. Cha ching Good lord, Chrono. Four hundred damage. You're kicking ass, son. I don't know if I have much access to any Creole food. The only, like, Cajun-type place around here is really terrible. We went there one time and it was just, like, Georgia fried-style Cajun. It wasn't, like, real Cajun food. Dang it. What? Are these scripted to, like, trigger one after the other? Because I didn't... I didn't mean to do that. that? Something good happened. Somebody leveled, somebody leveled up. Yeah, this is definitely like a series of scripted battles. I wasn't even holding the controller for that one. How rude. Mexican food? Actually, not bad. I had some for lunch. Always enjoy it. Dang it! So many scripted battles in a row. I think I'm fighting the Elite Four over here. Whoops! I attacked the wrong enemy, and he went down anyway. These freelancers aren't very dangerous, it seems. They're faster than us, though, which is annoying. Uh-oh. Should have had him attack the same one. Dang it. Oh, he got, like, a counter-attack, too. Shite. This is 
bad. If they both get a turn, I'm out of here. That's it. Fuck! Dude! That really sucks. I did not know walking into that that I was going to be stuck in a series of like five scripted battles. Damn, how far back are we? Probably just outside that foresty area. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What? Why did they trigger that time? They weren't interested at all in me the last time I came here. Hey, Game Boy. I should sit on the pillow. My ass is falling asleep. Ugh. What did you say, Game Boy? I can't read that there. You cursing? You're getting censored. What kind of nasty things are you saying, Game Boy? If you've finally caught up to me, I'm only like four and a half hours into the game, so... I'm not that far in, honestly. I guess for a Pokemon game, we would be on like the fourth gym, so... I'm not that far in. Ponte's oh, been spinning that root beer for four days now. <laughs> yep, it's the same one. Gross. Unrequited what? What are you cursing for, Game Boy? You must be saying some nasty things for Twitch to automatically be censoring you. I'm, I'm ashamed of you, Game Boy. You're supposed to be the mama here. You should be the one telling us to wash our mouths. I'm learning how to hold this controller in a more comfortable way. I was trying to hold it like an Xbox controller and it just wasn't working. I'm holding it properly now. Music here is sort of whimsical, isn't it? Hell, hell, let's fight this guy, why not? Basic plot so far time travel nonsense. Ah, uh, Robo Tackle. 
basically we saw a, a vision of the world being destroyed in the year 1999, and it wasn't the Y2K bug. So we were understandably concerned. Uh, and so, um, we decided to go back into the, the past and try and stop uh, this Lavos thing from destroying the world in 1999. So we're here back in the year 600 uh, to try and stop Magus, who is going to be apparently summoning Lavos, from what we've heard. are blowing you off right now, ignoring your calls. Maybe it's because you're really drunk. Are you really drunk right now? I know a lot of people back in college who, if they, like, got a drunk voicemail from someone, it's like, I'm not calling him back. <laughs> he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about right now. He just wants to tell me for half an hour about something I already know about that he forgot he, forgot he told me because he's so drunk. <laughs> I had a friend, first year of college, who, whenever he got drunk, he would call the girl he had a crush on and, like, tell her he loved her, and that <laughs> it was just so fucking embarrassing. It was really bad. Uh... And every time we were just like, no, don't, don't call her, you gotta stop doing this, man. <laughs> and he's just like, I don't know, I gotta call her and tell her I love her. It's like, you do this every time you get drunk, she knows you're just full of shit. And I was like, oh my god. I don't drink when I'm going to talk to people. Fair enough, fair enough. You don't like go out and drink? You always drink alone? But now I'm drinking because I'm sad. <laughs> Aww. Ching! That memory cursor. Yeah, I know, I need to heal every now and then. I'm gonna heal before I go up to this next screen, because this is where the, the trigger is, I think. Yeah. <laughs> she only lost five hit points, she'll be fine. I wish I could save here, but we'll probably be fine. I'm not going to use a save state, it feels like cheating. Game Boy, come back soon. Luca leveled up there last time, okay. Ching! Beautiful. That sound effect has become such a lovely thing for me.
Nice. Poncho, I told you to buy some repels. <laughs> what are you talking about? Taze and Day, Zay Boy, Zay Boy 108, Taze and Day, Zin Zay Day Day. Attack the, attack the wrong one again. Oh, critical hit. 36 damage. Uh. So these freelancers are dangerous to any character name not named Chrono, because uh, their counter attack does more damage than their attack. And if you can't kill them in one shot, it's like you might as well just wait and use Chrono's turn to do it. Is that it? Oh, that was fun. Give me a save point already. Oh, you could be they sharpening their swords or just waving their hands like, like a like a spy fox animation. Rocket punch. Luke learns Napalm. How tough is that attack? Damage energies in. Oh, enemies in a bomb area. Cool. Gotta try that out soon. We're okay on health. Whoa, don't fall off the. Shit! Too late. Silver stud. Oh! I actually want this! This is an item I actually know about. I did not know it was here, but I know it's really useful. It, like, makes you, like... It, it, does, it does something really good for you. I forget, like, doubles your mana regeneration? or like, No, not, not <laughs> mana regeneration. It doubles something, or, like, halves damage. MP use cut by 50%. So all spells cost half as much, basically. So you stick that on somebody who's good at magic, they can just cast a spell every turn. You ain't gonna worry about their MP anymore. Dude, that's awesome. Alright. We gotta put that on somebody. Who wants to wear the silver stud? <laughs> Which of you is, is man enough to have a silver earring in one ear and not the other? Um, I guess... Who was... I guess I'll put it on Luca for now. So you can just use like fire attacks on every turn, basically. If Marl was on the party, I'd put it on her. Because Marl's always using magic. How do I get out of here? I have to like dive off? Oh gosh. This seems dangerous. Hmm, and we're... Where are we? Silver earring. What is this? Max HP up by 25%. Dude, it gives you 25% more health? That's pretty useful. I'm gonna put that on... I'm gonna put that on Chrono. He now has 300 HP. That's more than Robo. That's crazy. Dude, that was a good find. Anything down here in the water? This reminds me of the first area of Secret of Mana. Dude. Looks just like it. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Where are we coming from right now? Oh, oh, okay. We didn't go that far back then. We're fine. <laughs> I'm gonna fight these guys again. Alright. Breeding lion. Oh gosh, you guys. What the heck? You 
Dingaling. Missed me. Alright, let's not fall off the edge again. Mid tonic. <laughs> hey, dude. You're kind of freaking out over here. <laughs> Doing your little sword dance. Hey, buddy. Wanna fight? Shut up! Get lost! Oh, sorry, you're busy. Oh, now you want to fight! I see how it is. Coming right for you, man. Full tilt. Chrono learned spin cut. New, new dual, dual tech max cyclone. New dual tech fire sword. I bet that's napalm and and, fu and uh, one of those things. Bellbirds. I want to see a napalm from Luca here. Now nah, they're not gonna go close enough together, are they? It's fine. Nice. Ching. I'm gonna try out a new oh, hello. Mountains are nice. <laughs> oh. I'm just saying, yeah, look at the view. Why are you just standing here looking at mountains? This is the life. Yes it is. Man, you're nosy. Here take this. I knew you'd have something for me. You wouldn't just be here just to say mountains are nice. Okay. Oops. Ah. Uh. How often are sick people supposed to eat? You're supposed to eat a normal amount when you're sick so that you can recover. Or as much as you're able to if you have a stomach flu. There's like a shady nature to this area. Like you can see the leaves like shading out the air the sun above us. Kind of makes us feel like we're in this like rocky foresty canyon. Quit throwing shit at me, dude. It's just rude. You gotta stop that, man. Oh, son of a bitch. These are all regular dudes though, so no biggie. They're a little fast, though. Ooh, that was a critical for Robo, I think. Oh, Luca didn't quite take out her guy. You're gonna pay for that with that one shot, Luca. Oh, you gotta cut that shit out, man. Oh, you wanna go? Let's fucking go. Let's do it. I got you. Yeah, that's what you get, man. Look at her adjust her glasses and use her name palm. Nice. Hmm, I wasn't quite fast enough. Oh, what? Chrono didn't finish that guy off? Since when? Robo will finish him off. Oh, 
Yeah, you should eat relatively like unspiced and just sort of regular type foods if you're not feeling too well. You don't want to eat anything that's going to make your stomach upset on top of it. Oh, I know what this is! <laughs> uh, I'd like to go back to that save point and, and heal, but looks like I'm just going to have to do it here. Yeah, that'll be fine. We got plenty of MP left for Robo. Ah, uh, I would like to be able to save before this. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Yes, look! It's the Master Sword! Kid, <laughs> stop! Are you here for the Masa Moon? Um, yeah, it's a legendary sword that I was told to look for. Yes, please. Thought so. Wait a second, okay. Oh, big brother! Where are you, Masa? Oh, there he was. What is it, Mune? Not again! So, you want to get a name for yourself by grabbing the Masamune, huh? Eh? What a buffoon. Humans are so silly. It's how you use the sword that's important, not who owns it. You can't even understand something as simple as that. That's why you're human. You guys look human. What should we do? The usual. Test them. You can entertain us for a while. Alright, here we go. Whoosh. Alright. And now we do battle with Masa and Mune. I don't know what to do here. Under damage, okay. The left one seems to be more active, so I'm just gonna target him. Nope. The right one's attacking too. Okay. Oh, what are they doing? They're doing some kind of... Uh... Some kind of dual tech... Oh, I think Robo's confused now? That's bad. Oh, he randomly attacked that guy. Alright, Robo is out of my control now. Did I snap him out of it? Yes, it did. Nice. Robo's taking hits like a champ. Apart, Masa and Mune are powerless. Awesome. So I took out one and that, that will be the fight. Robo and Luca level up. Hey, they're pretty tough. Only, this, only Cyrus made it this far. What should we do? This time it's for real. <laughs> it's like Kume and Kotake. Kotake, I guess. Alright. Yeah, we mean business. <laughs> Fusion! With Masa's bravery and... Moon's knowledge. Ho! Two become one! Oh, shit. Masa and Mune! Okay, now we gotta get serious. Lightning! 74 damage. Oh boy. Uh. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. That was good. I might switch from Chrono to physical attacks. Ooh, some kind of wind counterattack? Or is that just his attack? Ooh, tough. Yeah, Chrono's better off dealing with physical attacks. Anger Poncho, use dual techs and have Robo on healing duty. Alright, good, good idea. I'll put Robo on healing duty. And I'll let uh, Luca and. Spin cut. Fire whirl, fire sword, okay. Oh yeah, look at that. 500 damage. I'll have Robo on healing duty. 
and we'll just keep doing Fire Sword. That's 500 damage, so that's pretty good. Unfortunately, I have to wait for Luca's turn each time. Ooh, that was a lot. Who has the least health? Luca does. Mm. Don't go attack Robo now. Come on, leave him alone. Oh boy. I don't think we can quite keep up with the damage he's doing. Alright, alright, we're not in bad shape, we're not in bad shape, actually. Bring Poncho, the boss has 1k HP. I've already done much more than 1k to him, so that can't be right. Yes, indeed! Oh boy. Steamroller attack. Oh crap, he took out Robo. Shit. We better hope he's close to dead. Our healer just went down. Oh, that's it! Dude! That was a clutch victory. That was close. I can tell I'm like almost exactly the right level because I'm like barely winning these boss fights. <laughs> Use Slash to stop him from char charging his strong attack. Well, we got him even without knowing exactly what to do. Will they fix us? Will they find us an owner? It'll be alright. Hmm. Oh, da da da! You got the Master Sword. Its blade is infused with the power to destroy evil. <laughs> so the Masamune is not just a myth, but it has long been broken. You got the broken Masamune. Well, somebody should be able to fix this. Allow me. We'll ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Good luck to you. Hmm? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we have the sword now. I'm a little confused uh, as to where Tata went. Let's go talk to him at his house. Actually, let's save our game first. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry, everyone. Some frog dropped us in a cafe. I thought I'd sell it, but then everyone started calling me a hero. I couldn't bear to get rid of it. What? I just can't fake it any longer. I'm no hero. I'm ashamed. Here, please take this. Scoundrel, this is all a sham. No oatmeal for you. <laughs> so what did he give us? The hero medal? That identified him as, as being the hero? Ups the critical hit rate of Masamune. Cool. Well, I think I know who might want this. Dun, dun, dun. Is there a reason using this party as opposed to including Marl? I like Luca and Rebo better than Marl. That's all there is to it. But. It's about to get a little bit more harder to choose. Hello. The hath returned. The, the hero medal! Yes, it's actually yours. Thou hast seen the lad. There's nary a thing I can't do against Magus. The legendary Masamune is required to fight Magus. I have no right to wield it. Why the hell not? Please leave now. Dude. What's this twinkly thing? A 
broken sword. It's part of the Masamun. Something is written in an archaic script. I will translate. Ro Roklum? Okay, I see what that is. I think you're reading it backwards, Robo. System error, I reversed it. It says Melchior. Melchior? The guy in Medina Village? Hmm. Do 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 do. Mm-hmm. Frog, nary a soul remains to mendeth the Masamun. Oh, come on. <laughs> Frog, you're so sullen. I, I really like you, but you're making it hard for me to, uh, to root for you when you're so sullen. Ooh, that was good. If we didn't have Robo, would Marl translate that? I have no idea. You want to find out? I bet you Luca would translate it. How do I load a game? I know how to save, I don't know how to load. Uh... I just saved right before I went in there, right? Did we get the hero medal yet? What do you have to do? You can't beat the game, it's soft locks and you have to restart from the beginning. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Listen to you, I was going around telling people! <laughs> Marl is still on like the same level as the party. Has she been getting level ups in like in the wings without us knowing? It's kind of funny. All right, so we'll take Robo out and put Marl in the party. I reset the system and reloaded my save because I wanted to see what would happen if we didn't have Robo in the party when we found the uh, the hilt with the word Melchior written in the ancient language. I want to know who's going to be able to read the ancient language if uh, Robo is not here. He hath returned the hero medal. Yes, yes, yes. Ribbit. A broken sword. It's part of the Masamune. It's engraved in archaic letters. Yeah, Luca can read it if Robo is not in the party. That that's what I guessed. Mel oh, and she gets it right the first try. Dude. Oh, Robo, you gotta step it up now. Melchior. The guy in Medina Village? What does this mean, Chrono? It means we're taking it to him. Da -na -na -na. Doo. Marl is getting XP from the old man at the end of time. Oh boy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So we need to go back to Medina Village, which is this one over here, right? I think. Medina Village is on the other continent, so we need to go back to the gate, I think. I think I have this right. Yeah, the music in this game is really good. Oh, you roly polies. I wish this game did what Earthbound did, and I would just automatically win uh, if I was a high enough level above <laughs> everyone else. Oh, we're learning dual techs <laughs> now that Marl's in the party. <laughs> That's funny. I need to switch that back. Milky Year's in the year 1000. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Marl. Tasty things to do with eggnog. 
just throw whiskey in it or, or rum and drink it. So that's eggnog, you know? You don't have to do much. Okay, I think it's this one we want. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, popping out of your cabinet again, guys. My bad. Okay, it's in this house. I gotta remember that. Which one of these is Melchior's? So this is in present day again, by the way. BT Doves. Does Melchior live over here? Yeah. Oh, Melchior! We're back again. Come to see my collection. The sword, it's the Masamune! How did you get it? Why would your name be engraved on a sword from 400 years before you were born? It's a long story. Recognize this music? Appear it again later in the game. You want to hear the story, right? Of course! Tell us about the Masamune! Is it possible to reforge it? Hmm, it might be possible if we get our hands on some Dreamstone, which a sword is made of. Dreamstone? No data in my memory banks of such a rock. You can't find it anymore. It was a red stone that was once used as money. Unfortunately, it hasn't been available for a very, very long time. Hmm. I thought you would ever find the red stone, but if you bring some to me, I will fix the Masamune. Keep the sword with you until then. Would you like to buy something? Uh, sure, what have you got? Oh, he had the red katana. Yeah, this stuff is... Oh, actually, hang on. Is he selling shelters for... For 50 gold? No, 150. That's still, that's fine. Okay. Poncho, I don't believe you changed your broadcast title. <laughs> yes. Somebody needs to tell me that. I, I always forget that I need to do that. Well, I guess, it's, I guess it makes sense, because I was doing practice, and now I'm doing Chrono Trigger. But I will change to say that I'm playing Chrono Trigger. So, where can we go to get something that hasn't been available for a very long, long time? Ah! 600 AD! <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so I guess we can't get a uh, frog in the party yet until we fix the sword, I suppose. I think that's how it works. So, I guess we're gonna have to go to our uh, go to the next area. Let me let me save right here first. There's like a giant I don't know, pile of garbage or something here that for some reason restores your HP and mana. This is on an emulator with a USB controller. Super Famicom colors. Save. What's the deal? Oh, here we go. The rare red rock. Hmm. That gate leads to 1999 AD. It leads to the day of Lavos. Only go there if you're looking to achieve a shorter lifespan. Oh man. Better leave that alone. Yeah, actually, you can go there at any point and challenge the final boss, but it's not going to go well for you. <laughs> Alright. Thanks. It's time to go back to the past again. I already made that joke, I'm sorry. Oh, 
Ah! They're all green and scaly. Half human, half dinosaur, an unlikely form. Reptites. Here we go. So someone told me they're weak to lightning. We'll just attack one and see what happens. Ooh, missed the counterattack. No, he put him to sleep, dude. Nice one, Luca. Napalm, kicking ass. All right. One petal. What's a petal? Uh oh. We took out five, but eight is way too many. We're outnumbered. What? It's Catwoman. <laughs> Who is that woman? Her fighting capabilities far exceed those of humans. Now they're after us. I can get all five of them with napalm. Awesome. Uh oh, the one I targeted is gone. Which one she can shoot? The middle one, good. Having that half, uh, the silver stud on her, using napalm, kicking ass, man. One times pedal. I don't know these pedals aren't picking up. Hmm? What the? Do not upset her. She's rather agitated right now. We're not looking for a fight. Oh, what? Chrono! You strong! What name? <laughs> Chrono, huh? Good name. Me, me. Ayla, the blonde. Me, Ayla. Ayla likes strong people, so Ayla like Chrono. <laughs> I think she likes you, Chrono. <laughs> you strong too. Ayla respects strong people, men and women. Where have they been keeping her? <laughs> Luca, you know we're way in the past, right? The gate told us we were headed to the past. Robot, Robot was like, uh, yes? You're different. <laughs> She's confused by the robot. That's hilarious. It's because I'm a robot. Ra Raboot? <laughs> Raboot? What that? <laughs> it's a machine that looks like a man. No rubbish or Ayla. Head go boom. Chrono, where from? It's beyond her grasp. We're from way after the day after tomorrow. You funny. <laughs> it's no use. Come to village, we talk and eat. Uh, we have to look for Dreamstone now, sorry. Plenty stone. You take plenty. Come, Ioka village this way. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. Damn. He just jumped right up there. I got another Berserker just then. Ooh, a Berserker would be a great item for a certain party member. Look at the little dinosaurs we're fighting right now. That's one of the things that made this game so cool. Oh, they might all move in close enough that I can get all four with the Cyclone. Yeah, that's all four, baby. Come on. Oh, Chrono! That is not the one I wanted you to get. Damn. So bad. Oh, crap. Can I? Ah! Uh... There we go. Goodness gracious! These guys are kind of annoying. Nice one. Okay, these guys seem to be weak to techs, but resistant a little bit to, to physical damage. Note to self. Stick with the text mostly on these guys. Did you just crash? No, it's just you. Are we gonna die of some long lost disease? Oh, I hope not. Whoa, hello. What? 
Kiwalas! I don't want to fight these. They look friendly. They're just hiding their eyes. Okay. This feels kind of bad, but here we go. Oh, Chrono. One of the rare occasions when I actually decide to move the battle text. Luca, level up! How does the butterfly effect work with this one? Is Chrono now a god? <laughs> oh, not. Too complicated. You guys. Napalm the dinosaurs. 65 million BC, everybody. Is this the village? Hello. Ioka Hut. Oh my. You wear odd skins. You want to see pretty redstone? Chief has. Mmm. You want to rip tights? I beat you up. Oh my. They're a hyper intelligent race. Meeting site. Here we go. Hello. Not ready yet. Chief's hut. Here we go. Apparently she's the chief. Good. Chrono come. Night soon and ready for party. Ooh. Get ready for some music, guys. Listen all. New friends here. Strong man. Chrono. Friends of Chrono. Rugo. Luca. <laughs> Raboot. Aunga. <laughs> Everyone in the chat. Aunga. Oh. But, Sir Magus. <laughs> Alright. Chrono, eat, sing, dance. Do, 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 do. You outsiders, but Ayla give party. Why? Oong. Ooga bunga. Munga meeple. Dance with the wind, people. Aunga! <laughs> oh boy. Good music. We passed down many generations. <laughs> You guys think of this? They're twisting my arm. Oh, <laughs> this is why I like Luca. Her personality is just so good. She's like a little bit shy and kind of like I, I forget the the anime term used to refer to that like that type of character, where it's like, oh, you convinced me. Um, then she like starts eating all the food. <laughs> this is no time to celebrate. And Robo just sits down, like, what are we doing? And he's like, hey, even Robo can't resist the beat. <laughs> That's how he dances. Uh. Eat, sing, dance. Okay. Eat some of this food. I guess this one's supposed to be for me. Oh, I can't leave. 